Welcome to the Docker course. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at curl and we'll need to see how we can install and run curl. Now it's similar to htop except that curl actually gets parameters on the command line. So it's a command line tool uh, as opposed to what uh, htop is, which is just running and showing uh, stuff on the screen. So um, let's switch to the, to the uh, terminal and see what's uh, going on there. Different terminal, not the one that I'm on the other screen. So I have this docker file and in this docker file that we all already had it earlier. So now instead of installing htop I would like to install curl. Actually no, I wanted to show you something else before that. That's just so why I need to install. So I let's run docker run and now let's run minus minus rm so we don't need to have it anymore and then minus it uh, because I would like to have it interactively and then run Ubuntu Ubuntu 20.04 so we run Ubuntu basically and then here inside we try to use curl and the com curl command not found so that's why we need to install it and that's what we do in the docker file we say upget uh, install install curl good so we run this docker build uh, my docker uh, it's using the cache from previously except well it had to install it had to download all the stuff that curl needs which is a bunch of other uh, dependencies and there is some error warning during the, the installation it doesn't really matter for us it works for now and so we have this docker container now docker image actually that has curl in it and so now we can run the same thing except now that not ubuntu 20 but my docker right so i'm running the my docker image turning into a container and this time i can type in curl and it's there so obviously it needs uh, some parameters so let's say i give it https code maven.com and it uh, downloads the content of that website and displays it here so far is good but let's go back to the slides for a second and um, let me just yeah the slides here so the slides are here um, and uh, this is what is so, so first so we try to oh i didn't even show this one so let me show this one now so i showed you that curl is not installed while trying to run it uh, inside but let's try to run it as an external command just so you can see what happens so if i try copy paste this one so i don't have to type in everything it's running the ubuntu 20 0, 4, and providing curl on the command line so this time it's not well yeah i show you this is the command so this one we have the uh, minus rm minus minus rm meaning we'll remove the container at the end we don't have the minus it because it's not interactive we just want it to run curl and just so you see the error message because it's not really it's a slightly nicely nasty thing uh, it is uh, whatever osi runtime created fail whatever so the the thing is that it can't it can't find curl so that's why we had to install it now do let's do the same now exactly the same co command but what now is the my docker that image <coughs> sorry that image that we just uh, built and um, it, it it works exactly the same as it worked uh, earlier when i ran from the command from inside when i already had curl installed so i have i actually i think i also can provide the i think it's silent silent mode and then it doesn't print out the, the, at the beginning uh, the progress which is sort of nicer so that that works but um, actually i would like this to turn so that the user won't need to type in curl here okay uh, that's what i would like because i sort of wanted wanted to turn this whole docker image into curl itself so i don't need to type in the extra curl here um, so what can i do and this is what happens in the next slide actually uh, what we do is add entry point curl to the docker file and uh, in the curl is in, in square brackets so let me uh, just show you how it works so i have uh, the docker file and in the end at the end i add, add entry point and in square brackets i add and in uh, 
quotes I add curl. And now I have to re I have to rebuild Docker build. I have to rebuild again the the image, which is quite fast now because everything is cached already. And I can run sorry, docker run. And I don't know, it's some different command here. Docker run uh, minus minus rm. I don't need the interactive mode. I run my docker. Right, and I have can provide https code maven.com and this should work. And this indeed works, downloads the same content. I can actually even uh, silence mode, silence mode, I have to type in, so there's no silence, silent mode, sorry. Right, I have to type in the the, uh, the option uh, properly, and then it works. Uh, I mean, I just forgot. Uh, I, I just did twenty seconds ago. Anyway, it works now, uh, as you can see. So this time, the user who got gets this Docker um, image, it doesn't need to know that the command is actually called curl, which points to the up one of the upcomings actually upcoming. Uh, uh, presentations or, or videos where we will take one of our own scripts and put it into Docker and it will, when you run Docker, it will just run that script. Doesn't matter what programming language or whatever, the user doesn't know how to call it, how to run it. The user only needs to run this Docker image, uh, just like we did it with curl. So that's it. There's an, also another thing that you saw this entry point and, uh, and earlier we had the, the CMD and we were echoing and you might be wondering why one's here and what's the other one and the, the second one was in uh, square bracket. So uh, I'll get to that um, in the next video. For now, just go ahead and, and play with it and good luck with the rest of the series.